everybody and welcome to The Swing Shop. My name is Jonathan Moore, I'm from Cairo, Georgia, and we are here today in my facility to talk a little bit about the Canwood Bats All-American 30-Day Program. As some of you know, we are the only facility in the country that is teaching this program day in and day out. We are seeing astronomical results with our players on the mechanic side, on the game results side, on the bat speed side, you name it, we're seeing it. And the reason that we're seeing it is because we're teaching kids the proper concepts of hitting. The simple ways, the old school ways if you will, call it what you want, but we have found the simplest way to teach hitting. So today, as we get into things, I want to start by talking about the line of the pitch. You know, you watch people on YouTube, you see different hitting coaches that you may go to or in your area, and there's so many different drills that people have. Um, and I mean, if, as you get into the program, you're gonna find out that we only really use four specific drills. And the reason that we only use those four drills is because the concept of what we're trying to accomplish is not that hard. The fastest distance between two points is a straight line. Um, if I'm trying to get from here to there, I wouldn't go in a circle to get there. I'd go in a straight direction. So what we need to understand is that always and forever, the pitch is going to be traveling in a straight line from the pitcher to the catcher. If you can understand that first, hitting is going to be so much easier for you. Here I have three balls sitting in a straight line. You can kind of see the downward tilt. That's more for a baseball player. For softball, you may have just a little bit flatter line. Uh, nevertheless, the concept is still the same. The ball is always traveling in a straight line from the pitcher to the catcher. Now you may, ask, may add curveballs, change up, whatever. We're talking fastballs, straight line. In order for me to get this part, the sweet spot of my bat, to the ball that I'm trying to hit, I need to move in a straight direction. A lot of you may have heard as players, coaches, whatever, get the barrel to the ball. It's a very well-known phrase nowadays. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing to say, at an early age, it's confusing to kids. They think get the barrel to the ball, and they throw that barrel out and around the line that the pitch is moving on. So you see here, I'm over the middle baseball, and if I make contact, if that's the pitch I'm trying to hit, or let's say this is the pitch I'm trying to hit, and here I am, I've broken my back. Some would say I'm in line. And they would say, you're making bad contact, not because you're not in line, but because your timing's off. Okay, well let's think about it for just a second. In a span of 10 at bats, at bats, not the swings in a cage, let's look at at bats, 10 at bats. How many times are you dead 100% on time? Most of the time the answers we get are one to two. Every now and then we'll get a three, but that's from a real confident kid. Most of the time you're gonna be about 10 to 20% average of solid contact being dead on time in a game. So if you're just leaving it up to timing, hitting is going to be tough for you. If we can think more so about staying in line, we almost take the timing aspect out of the equation. You can be late and make solid contact. Let me show you. So if I'm here and I'm focusing on barrel, I'm trying to get to this pitch here, and I drive the barrel to the ball, my bat's out here. If I was late, extremely late, I'm broken. If I was a little earlier, I'm still broken. I could probably get my bat around here to make good contact with this pitch and pull it, but that is only if I'm dead on top. If I'm naturally loose and I'm focused on driving the hands straight to the pitcher, straight in line with where the ball's coming from, then notice how my barrel now gets closer to all of these balls. If I'm late and I let it go here, I drive the ball hard the other way. If I keep going and I let it go here, I drive the ball hard up the middle. If I keep going and I let it go out front, boom, I catch it there, and that's the pitch that I get up in the air and hit the home run. That's the one you were wanting to get to in the first place. But even if you are late or just a little bit late, you can still make good contact and drive the ball hard if you're focused on the right thing. Keeping the bat in a straight line. Not throwing the barrel to the ball, but just focusing on the simple concept. Fastest distance between point A and point B. 
sweet spot to the ball is a straight line. 